list. Well, they came in the night, and we have the videotape to prove it, too. Exclusively, four mysterious red lights moving through the skies over Phoenix on Monday night, the 22nd of April this week, creating these strange shapes that appeared in different order. Our next guest says he's seen a lot of things in his television career, but there's only one way to explain this. Tony Deporek is the man who filmed the lights. Welcome here uh, from Phoenix, Arizona. I, I, I know you're a believer. I'm not necessarily so, but I find this fascinating. Well, what did you uh, see in the sky on Monday night, Tony? It, it truly is. It, it was fascinating. Uh, I was called outside, and immediately I looked to the east, and you could see four brilliant red lights just, just beaming out there, really bright in the night sky. Uh, they were in a, initially they were in a kind of a vertical or diagonal pattern and then almost changing a pattern to a U-shape, and that was at the point where I ran to get my video camera about uh, instantly. I thought, I better get this on tape, and by that time, I started rolling. They had gone into a cross or a diamond shape, so that was the third pattern that I'd seen at that point. Were there any fumes, any sound, any smoke? That was uh, the first thing going through my head. I wanted to try and debunk it while I was filming it. I didn't see any smoke. I was thinking maybe rockets, meteors, uh, you know, uh, afterburners. Uh, but, and I didn't even hear any sounds, neither. It was just eerily quiet. I would figure something that bright and glowing in the sky would, um, you know, if it had any kind of propulsion, would have some sort of low rumble or anything. But it was, it was moving, albeit slowly, it was moving, but uh, just pretty silently. And Tony, when we first saw this image, I thought it was just a series of stars that was probably thrown off by some dust in the air because it was right about sundown or right after that, right, 8 o'clock in the evening. But, but, but now we see the stars try to change and move and, and twist its formation. Correct. That was a unique thing. And, and you could uh, tell because that's one of the things in the video as it progressed. I tried to get a little scale in there and I matched it up with a tree and a star. And they were so much more brilliant than any star. They didn't twinkle like a star. Uh, it didn't flicker like a flare. Um, so it really stood out almost like brake lights, giant brake lights in the sky. Well, here we are two days later. How do you explain it? Uh, I still don't have an explanation. People are saying, they're saying flares, they're saying this, that, or the other thing. And I I'm just not sure. I think the footage tells us, and, and being there, I saw something, we saw something that we couldn't explain. And by who, who is we, by the way, Tony? Who was out there with you? Uh, my, my wife, my family, my neighbors, uh, we were all out. There was a, a good group of six to seven people, and I know uh, many people in the neighborhood had seen it and reported it that night. And, you know, we saw something that we just couldn't explain. And, 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 you know, by definition, I think we have to classify that as a UFO until somebody comes up with that evidence or, or that explanation for it. Tony Deporek, thank you for your time and thanks for sharing the video. And thank Phoenix, you very much. Arizona, thank you got it. By the way, 11 years ago, the people in that area, uh, they saw another strange sight one night. It became known as the infamous Phoenix Lights. March 13th, 1997, witnesses report odd formations in the sky, a triangle that flew over homes, a stationary line that the U.S. Air Force later said were flares, but not everyone believes that. So some people spent years trying to figure out what they saw that night. One woman uh, even released a documentary this year offering her own explanation. Makes you think, makes you wonder, and I know we're going to get the emails in a moment here. So just hang on. We're not debunking Tony. We just want to show you the video. Let you hear his explanation. We report, hear you decide. Out. Amen on that. Okay, speaking of you decide.